Today's video is brought to you thanks to Magtech Ammunition, the official ammunition supplier for all range activities of active self-protection. Okay, more exciting stuff from the show, you guys. Uh, I am here with Adam Radigan, who is the mouthpiece for Mantis, the, the most, most enthusiastic of the very enthusiastic guys who work for this company. And we have the new units, the X3 and the X10. Now, as we say, these are air guns, right? So yep. the unit that you guys have seen so often on the Extra Channel here. And now, look at this little guy and the different form factor. Much better form factor, much smaller, uh, fits a much more, many more rails, a whole lot more guns, so littler guns will fit this great. So what tell us about it, man. So the goal behind this was to get it small enough to fit on every gun with a rail, so all the subcompact guns, everything, it's got to pick a tinny rail, this will go on it. And as far as we know, we achieved that goal. Also, quick disconnect was something that a lot of people asked for. Messing with the screw can be a little bit annoying. It's not a deal breaker, but, no, but that's better. Quick, quick disconnect is much better. Has a longer battery life. This thing will go about 24 hours without charging. Oh. And a smaller, lighter, sleeker, all around, just, just, just a better from, from a physical perspective. And it does everything that the original Mantis X will do. Okay. And so this is the X3. The X10 is very similar. There's just a little bit of ribbing on the X10. And the X10 is kind of our, our, our elite version, our pro version. And this will do everything that the X3 will do. But additionally, one of the big things is recoil analysis. Yeah. So now you have all the pre-shot information. With the X10, you get all the post-shot information. How much recoil is there? How's the gun moving? How's your grip? Is you adjust your grip? What does that do to the recoil? All of that. Holster draws is another big thing that the X10 is going to have. We'll give you times to the gun, to the presentation, to the shot, break all that down, and really give you a an in-depth analysis of the holster draw that, that you've never had before. So, of course, for this you're going to need a light-bearing holster. A light-bearing holster or an adapter for the magazine. Or a magazine adapter. Now, of course, I'm giving these guys a hard time because us HK lovers <laughs> don't have a magazine adapter built just for us. But that's maybe at some point. Actually, that is also new as of today. We have it for the, for the HK. No way! Yes, we do. Yes, we he do. just made my day right now. I just found that out. Today I learned. Look, I was today years old. They have HK adapters. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. And if I'd have known that, I'd have had one in my pocket for him. I'm so happy. I'm so excited. I'm so yeah, no excited. kidding. <laughs> now who's the most enthusiastic? Right? So I love the X10 though because, again, that's that idea of time to hand on gun, yep. time to yep. gun out on target, time from target to shot. Um, that's the kind of data that when you move from a beginning shooter to an intermediate advanced shooter, that it's very hard to get on your own and objective data for that. So if you go, look, I got a beep, how long does it take me to get my hand on the gun? Um, I've been working with my shooting coach, uh, Scott Jedlinski on that for mm -hmm. a couple of months now and going on the B, not the EEP, right? <laughs> yep, yep. And, and how long does that take? And having some objective measure and breaking down micro drills and, and going from there to gun out is, uh, that's the kind of stuff where you go beyond a, a number Mm -hmm. to actually analyzing your shooting mechanics. Yep. That's really cool. And and, and this X10 is a really sensitive device. It, it's collecting a boatload of data. Oh yeah, oh yeah, the data rate increased by a lot. Yeah. I won't give you the number, but it was a lot. But it was a lot. <laughs> so uh, have we set price points on these bad boys yet? We have. The X3 is 170, so just a little bit more than the original Mantis X. For this a lot smaller. A lot smaller. Yep. And the X10 is 250. Okay. That includes all the recoil, all the holsters, everything. Yeah, we're, we're going to get our hands. I Literally, these are so new, I haven't even got one. Usually, the industry shill gets an advanced copy to look through and all that. We haven't even got them yet. So, any idea when they're going to hit the market? About four weeks. Okay. About four weeks and they'll be, they'll be ready to go. Awesome stuff, man. Thanks so much, Adam. Really Thanks, appreciate John. it, bro.